Greetings, friends and enemies. Welcome back to Art by Flan. Uh, today we have a very special collab video with one of my favorite artists here on YouTube, Amanda Elise. Um, I reached out to her about this collab uh, a couple months ago. Um, we we're both really big fans of the Killers, um, and so I reached out with her the idea that we'd give each other um, our favorite Killers song, and then we'd have to draw something based on that song and so we all each gave each other um, a little tidbit about why that song is particularly special to us and I gave her um, Sam's Town and explained to her why that's sort of special to me and she gave me um, all these things that I've done both by the killers obviously um, and when I asked her for a little bit about why this song was special to her um, she she really liked the part um, where he kind of gets low and goes time, truth, and heart. And she always said that it, it really helped her get through when things seemed difficult. And the other really popular line from that song stuck out to her, I got soul, but I'm not a soldier. Kind of like saying, you know, it's okay to be strong right now. You're doing your best. And that's sort of what she got from the song. And that's a really great interpretation. So I decided to come at it um, from different angles when drawing my piece. As you can tell, what I'm inking right now probably doesn't fit with that quite well. Um, but so I looked into sort of the meanings of the songs and if you're not familiar with the killers or with Brendan Flowers who's the um, lead singer he is a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints or he's a Mormon and so uh, I feel like a lot of this song is about him sort of um, repenting uh, because when he created the band and he joined the killers or he didn't create the band but when he joined the killers um, he got really off track uh, with his faith he sort of lost it and I feel like this song is sort of a redemption song for him that he you know he's, he's trying to repent and become faithful again but it's hard in the life that he lives and you know, that's the line he's got soul he has faith but he's not a soldier he's not uh, a, a member of the church and that's definitely one way to look at it specifically that particular line because um mormon men who are sent out to you know go door to door and things like that uh would are often referred to as god's soldiers so he's got soul he's got the faith but he doesn't um he's not an actual soldier you know because of the life he has with the killers and that was sort of my interpretation of the song from a factual standpoint but for this particular piece I did, uh, I took that sort of uh, religious imagery and made it something a bit darker. So what I did was I, I took a guy who's clearly of a faith, be it, you know, I, I think I, I went for Mormon appearances with the suit and, and the cross and things like that. And um, I sort of took it to a, a level of feeling, how the song made me feel, and what I sort of pictured when I listened to it. And that was sort of the story of this guy. He he has a faith, but he's in a line of work, sort of like Brand of Flowers, um, that's sort of not great. <laughs> um, so obviously he's a gun for hire. And what you see here is him coming back. And in this particular part, I think I changed it a bit later, but he looks sort of serene, but I think I changed it later on where he looks sort of distraught about what he's done. He wants to repent for the lives he's taken and the actions he's taken. And so he's kind of going off into the desert with the, the light behind him and sort of that symbolic walking away scene. And this also ties in with a lot of um, the killer's ideologies of uh, well, not ideologies, the killer's aesthetic of Las Vegas deserts and, you know, Nevada scenery and things like that. So um, that's sort of what I tried to do, try to capture that desert sunset and him just walking through the desert to sort of go with that story I, I had in my head for this particular song. Um, and you'll see, like I said, I lost a lot of footage for this. I thought I had more, um, but most of what I have is line art and inking or line art and shading, I thought I had much, much more uh, footage <laughs> for this particular piece, but you'll see once I finish the shading that I, I've already put down base colors and I've already tweaked the shadow colors and I've, I lost some clips here and there. So I'm sort of, it's shorter than what I wanted it to be, but I didn't have a lot of that footage, which apparently disappeared into nowhere. So here I am sort of fixing his expression. Like I said, at the beginning, he sort of looks kind of peaceful and content in the life he lives. So this as a sort of killer for hire, hiding behind, you know, hiding behind faith. And then I sort of wanted to make his expression a little troubled, a little worried, showing that he does want to repent, which deep down I feel is like what this song is about. It's hard, you know, he wants to repent. He wants to be 
a better person. And he's reflecting on all the things he's done. That's the title of the song. And so that's what I wanted to capture here. Somebody who has done something horrible with that religious um, imagery of Brandon Flowers' past and the killers in general of the, the Nevada Desert and Las Vegas and things like that. Um, sort of kind of merging that all into one image. Um, but I moved on here, and like I said, oh, I didn't lose, okay, I thought I thought I lost this, but I didn't lose the, of me tweaking the shadow colors. Um, and another interesting thing about this piece is I actually put in a background <laughs> because I felt like the background was a key part um, of all of the pieces I wanted to put together in this piece. I definitely took the time to do a background. And I'm sure I had a more detailed bot list on this, but I am recording the audio now, and this, uh, our, our collab has been on the back burner as we've both been kind of really busy, so I'm hoping I'm getting everything I wanted to say in. And you'll notice here um, that the colors are extremely saturated. Like I said, I wanted that really bright sunset, but I felt like it wasn't right. So in the final piece, you'll see that it's kind of desaturated and kind of, um, kind of, well, desaturated. And that's sort of inspired by the video for all these things which I believe is shot in black and white it's been a while since I've seen it but I remember shots being in black and white sort of the the Sam's Town aesthetic that you see which is their second album this one's from their first but I know a lot about the killers okay they're absolutely one of my all-time favorite bands and I definitely recommend um their first album a lot but that's if you want to find their second out the other albums to find more like the first one they're not gonna but definitely the first album is one of my all-time favorite albums of of anything it's it's just easily one of my favorites and um all these things is definitely one of my favorites so i'm so so glad she gave that one for me to do and i feel i don't know i feel like i did it wrong like i took a bunch of inspiration from everywhere for this particular image from my own stories and from you know factual from facts about you know brandon flowers and the song and so i hope i hope it lives up <laughs> <laughs> to Amanda's expectations because I haven't seen her piece at this point but we should be shifting on into the final piece here in just a moment if you like what you see don't forget that like button you can subscribe for a new video for me every single week and definitely do not forget to go check out uh, Amanda's channel all that will be linked in the description below and in the end card here and finally shout out to all of my pet patreons um adri skibbles and parts of ale you guys are the absolute best if you're interested in supporting me on patreon you can check out the links in the description below as well thank you guys so much for watching Bye bye <laughs>